Hi St. Paul's, I'm coming to you today from our beloved Sunday School Wing, where we have spent the past two weeks packing up all of our Sunday School supplies and our godly play materials to prepare for the work which will begin this coming week, in which the floors and the ceilings will be taken out of the building, so that the building will be ready to be taken down when the time comes. While we are excited for a new space with rooms dedicated to all ages and with even more space dedicated to children and youth, we recognize the sadness and the difficulty of letting go of this space, which has held the life of our children's and youth ministries for so long. Because we can't be together in person, to celebrate, to bless the space, and to give thanksgiving for it, we have created this video to do just that. Hello, Betsy Poist here, uh, and along with many others, I spent a lot of time in the church school wing. In 1985, the then rector of St. Paul's uh, said to me, please, will you direct the church school just for one year? And I said, okay. And it was 15 years later when I finally stepped aside, leaving the church school under Iris's excellent leadership. Those extra 14 years were entirely my own doing and a very, very real pleasure. It was a large team of faithful and talented teachers and splendid, lively children and their families that kept me there. More than once in their midst, and in this space, uh, I truly experienced a sense of transcendent joy and also a sense that we might well be doing just what we were meant to be doing. Uh, it is a, uh, with great gratitude that I express my thankfulness for this space. I am so grateful for the many wonderful years of joy, laughter, song, and prayer that this space fostered for so long, I, and also for the loving service of so many parents, grandparents, and older siblings who gave of their time, talents, and hard work to instruct and inspire the children of our St. Paul's family over many decades. These rooms welcomed us to meet, grow, and gather together in God's holy, loving presence and meet Jesus in the world. In saying goodbye to these walls, I remember the echoes of that cinder block din as the children arrived on Sunday mornings, the excited hustle and bustle of pageant rehearsals, and the timeless gallery of the children's artwork on the walls. Hi, this is Pam Evans, and I was lucky enough to spend the last two decades of my life and the education wing at St. Paul's. As a teacher at Chancellor Street, I got to meet so many families and children and we loved it there, a lot of church families. We particularly enjoyed the groundhog, the chipmunks, and the little bunny that used to come into the garden that the children planted on that wonderful playground. We had a wonderful 48 year partnership and we can't thank you enough. Saying farewell to the church school wing means that we also honor the nursery. Beth, Vicki, Glynis, Katie, Kelly, Edie, with the help of Ruby for the past 30 years, and many others for much shorter periods of time, made the nursery a safe and loving place for hundreds of our youngest parishioners every Sunday throughout the year, while providing many families their first exposure to St. Paul's. Although I have only been with you all for a little over a year, I feel the sanctity of this building deep in my bones. I remember walking in to this hallway my first day at St. Paul's and just being amazed when I saw the mural which surrounds me right now. You can feel the life of this building just in this mural and then especially if you enter this building on Sunday mornings when you hear the laughs of children as they go into their Sunday school rooms and when you see the dedication of our godly play teachers and Sunday school leaders. I am so thankful for the ways in which this parish demonstrates its commitment to the lives of our children 
and youth and for the relationships that they have built in this space. We give thanks, we grieve, we celebrate, and we look ahead. Let us pray. We who are gathered here know that this building, which has been consecrated and set apart for the ministry of God's holy word and sacraments, will no longer be used in this way, but will be taken down. To so many of us, this building has been hallowed by cherished memories, and we know that some will suffer a sense of loss. We pray that each of us would be comforted by the knowledge that the presence of God is not tied to any place or building. How wonderful you are, O gracious God, in all your dealings with your people. We praise you now and we give you thanks because you have visited this place and you have hallowed it by your presence. Stay among us, we pray, to bind us together in your love and peace. May we serve you and others in your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As I'm standing here outside the church school wing, I have a question for the children and the youth. St. Paul's, and I'll give you a minute to think about it. How long do you think this building has been standing here? When do you think it was built? The answer is that this building is 60 years old. It was built 60 years ago. Now, 60 years is, is 60 years means that we have members at St. Paul's who can remember perfectly well before this building was built. We have members at St. Paul's who remember what this space looked like when the church school wing didn't exist. We have members at St. Paul's who remember how exciting it must have been when it got designed and built. But not a lot of our members can remember those things. For most of us, it's hard to imagine St. Paul's without the church school wing standing here. And because we can't imagine it, we forget sometimes to ask the question of how this building got here. The reason that the church school wing is here is because in the 1950s, the people of St. Paul's heard God calling them to do things that they felt they could not do well in the facilities that they had. And so they stepped out in faith and they built this building. They couldn't have known for sure what would happen here. They couldn't have known for sure that it would work, but they prayed that God would use their faith uh, and the blessings of this space to do God's work in the lives of children and youth and families for generations. And we know 60 years later that those prayers have been answered abundantly. The number of children and youth, and families, and Sunday school teachers who have sung together, prayed together, taken care of one another, and had their faith challenged and nurtured in this space is more than any of us could name or count. Only God knows who they all are. That's an occasion for prayers of thanksgiving from us, but it's also the answer to the prayers of the people who built this building. Their prayers were answered. Now it's our turn. Today, once again, people at St. Paul's have heard God calling us to do things that we don't think we can do well in the spaces that we have. And so as we prepare to say goodbye to this building, we're not ending the ministries that have taken place across these 60 years. We are continuing in the ministry of the people who built this building to begin with. We pray and trust that as their prayers were answered, so will ours be. Loving God in your great goodness, you once accepted to your honor and glory this building. Receive our praise and thanksgiving for the blessings, help and comfort which you have bestowed abundantly upon your people in this place. Continue, we pray, your many mercies in your church, and especially here at St. Paul's, that we may be conscious at all times and through all kinds of changes of your unchanging love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord.